The product of two consecutive positive odd numbers is 99. Find the numbers. Well, the first thing we want to do is identify variables. So let's x, let x equal the first um, odd number. Okay, remember it's got to be positive. Okay, so we'll make a note of that. And then looking at the key words here to identify the second number, I notice that they're, they have to be consecutive. Okay, and they have to be odd. All right, so the next odd number, believe it or not, is x plus 2. Odd numbers are separated by two units. Let's take a look at that real quick. If you had numbers 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on, if you look at an odd number, say 9, to get to the next odd number, you always have to add 2 to that. All right, so the next odd number is x plus 2 not x plus 3 or something like that. Okay. Okay. So once we've identified our variables, let's look at the word problem here to see what we have to do to set it up. Okay, so I'm looking at uh, the keyword product. It says the product of the two numbers is 99. Okay. So here the product means to multiply and is, we know, corresponds to equal. So to set this up, I have to multiply the two numbers together, x and x plus 2. So x times x plus 2, that product is supposed to be 99. Okay, that's our setup. Once we get it set up, we're going to use algebra to solve this. And noticing here, after I distribute x squared plus 2x, I'll be left with a quadratic equation. To solve quadratic equations, all our techniques require us to set the equation equal to zero. Okay, so the first step here, I'm going to go ahead and, I guess the second step, subtract 99 on both sides. So that'll leave us with x squared plus 2x minus 99 equals zero. Okay, so first I'm going to try to solve this by factoring. Okay, x squared breaks up as x times x. Now let's look at the factors of 99. Now the obvious choice is 9 times 11, right? So let's try it. 9 times 11. 9 and 11 add up to 2. Um, our middle term there would be 2x. If the 9 is, I guess, well, if the 11 is positive, right? So our middle term is gotten by the sum or difference of 9x and 11x. 9x and 11x add up to positive 2x if the 11 is plus and the, and the 9 is negative. So that's telling me, I'm going to put my negative there and the positive there. So my middle term will be good. Let's check the end term. Negative 9 times positive 11 is negative 99. Okay, so that's factored correctly. It looks good. Let's go and erase these um, lines there. That's not part of the solution. Okay, so once you get it factored correctly, you then set each factor uh, equal to 0. So x minus 9 equals 0 or x plus 11 equals 0. Okay, so this tells me x equals negative 11 or x equals 9. Now remember the original question asked for positive solutions. So let's throw away the negative solution and use 9. Okay, so notice 9 is an odd, odd number. And I got lucky when I did my example. The next odd number then is 11. So the two odd numbers whose product is 99, the two consecutive odd numbers whose product is 99, are 9 and 11. Um, certainly we could have guessed at that at the beginning, like I did. Um, but uh, if the numbers are a little more difficult, a little bigger, for example, certainly you, you want to solve this using algebra, not guess and check.